What's going on guys? Welcome back to Turner Fishing. This is Steven Turner. So a lot of people have been asking, how did you make your live scope mount? And how did you make your unit com completely portable? This is a portable live scope setup. Now I did this because I like going fishing with other people. And you know, live scope's a game changer. I want to bring it with me. So be sure to hit that thumbs up button for me. Subscribe to the channel. And I'm gonna walk you through how I built this thing. Oh my god! Whoa! Oh god! Oh. So first off, I had to figure out some way to mount it to a boat that isn't a John boat. If that makes sense. You know, at the time of buying it, I was still using the John boat in the back. I'm, I'm sure you'll see it sometime in this video. But y'all, y'all remember the old John boat from past video? That's, I mean, I made it for that boat, but that boat kept leaking water. You know, I'm borrowing the crappy man boat right now until I can find another boat for sale that I can actually afford or get payments on. Still looking for that. I haven't found it. You know, this one works for what it does. So. I ended up, you know, I bought this right here on Amazon. It's it's just a replacement mounting kit for a handhold Minn Kota trolling motor. Okay, so you take that and I put this piece of wood right here and it's mounted just like that with some L brackets. And this right here goes straight on there. Tighten it up. And boom, there you go. We're, we're, we're mounted. So the way this is constructed, I've got a two inch PVC pipe, this handle right here. And if you see if you see trash in my boat, don't be don't be worried about it. I ain't I ain't I ain't been fishing in it in a little bit because got some truck issues, but I ain't cleaned it out anyway this right here is a lawnmower handle not a lawnmower a weed, a weed eater handle we had laying around so we've got a two inch pvc pipe and in the middle of it i have a one inch uh fitting pipe so you're able to turn it basically free spool it and we've got i took a dremel and i drilled this out so the two inch pipe would fit in there and I just got my cable black taped all the way down to the bottom. Here's the live scope transducer. <clears throat> I mean, a lot of people say not to tape it up, but I didn't want to not tape it and risk ruining the cable. So, I mean, black tape working for me, and I've had it for almost like eight months now. So, now let's get into the heart of it. Let's, let's get into the box, which makes it portable. So, this is my box. It is a Magella cooler. I want to say it's a 20, 20 quart cooler. Not exactly sure on that. And I got my Garmin right here. And just to, to show that it's portable, you know, it's not it's not hooked to nothing. That's just a lot of the transducer cable coming up that goes to the pole. We're gonna take my, my screen protector off and we'll dry fire this thing for you show you my settings real quick also yeah th this is the the Garmin Echo Max 7 73 SV it's the cheapest one you can buy the, the whole bundle for everything, I think it was like 1970 from the bass tank. So we'll let this, this power on. And there we go. We are live scoping. <laughs> so basically, the most important settings I can tell you right now is just your gain. I keep it at about 50 to 60. Uh, I almost always have it on 20 foot 
because I'm accustomed to what the fish look like on there. And if I'm fishing, I keep it at about 15 to 25. If I'm looking, I'll bump it all the way up to about 70. And I use the amber color. And I mean, that's basically it for settings. It's really not hard to set up, guys. So we'll power this down. Cover back on it. All right, now there's one big thing before we open it up. You need to install a toggle switch. This toggle switch right here controls my black box. If you don't put a toggle switch on your black box, the black box pulls two amps of power constantly. So it will run your battery dead. If you do not toggle off your black box and you're not recharging your battery every night, your battery will die. So we're pop this thing open. I mean, it ain't nothing fancy in here, guys. I mean, I don't even got it bolted in there. So what we have here is an amped outdoors lithium battery. These run you about 150 bucks. You know, we've got the quick connectors here to charge it. And we've got everything running right there. We've got our black box all networked right here. And all the wires come out of a hole that I drilled in the back. And so if we flip the switch right here, you can see the red light blinking. I can find it. So, I mean, that's basically it. You know, we got a lithium battery. This battery right here will last me three fishing trips. That's eight hours each time. It'll stay on 13 volts for the first day, drop down a little bit on the second day, and eventually go under 12 on the third day. Hmm. Uh, definitely worth the money on the battery. And, I mean, everything is just in here. It's, it's not bolted down. And, you know, you just close it up. You're ready to rock. Now to, to show y'all it truly is portable, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pick it up. I'm gonna go to my old boat and just slap it on there real quick. So, you know, you can take the transducer off, just like that. You hold it right there. Grab the, slap, the straps. There we go. So I'm going to head to the bowl boat and slap it on there real quick. We're at the, we're at the, the old John boat. So really, all I got to do is put this right here. You know, I would sit it in the floor if I was fishing. And then I'm going to pick up the transducer. And my buddy's got a John boat. We want to use live scope. Slap it right there over the side. You ready to rock, dude. Simple as that, guys. So, that's my setup. Very simple to make. I mean, after you buy the live scope, it'll probably cost you... I mean, with the battery and everything, about about two two fifty to make that setup. So, just find you a, a if you got a hand hand uh, hand held hand controlled trolling motor. I don't even know what I was saying. A hand controlled trolling motor at the house. Just take the head off of it, and you're good to go. But if not, you can order a replacement thing on Amazon for forty to fifty bucks. PVC pipe at Lowe's. Make you a handle if you ain't got an old weed whacker. You're ready to rock. But yeah, guys. I appreciate y'all checking it out. I hope you enjoyed. hope you enjoyed the setup. Uh, be sure to share it with your friends. I mean, maybe they're interested in buying live scope, but don't know how to set it up. So, anyway, guys, I'll catch y'all on the next one.